Hey, what's going on to all of my Sagittarius? So, <clears throat> you Sagittarius and Pisces, excuse me, you Sagittarius and Aquarius gave me the most views this batch. So, the two videos that gives me the most views, I will go ahead and do those two videos first. If this reading uh, brought you some sort of answer or value, then this means that this reading is for you. And it, and it also means that you should contact me for a private reading or get any of my books or any other one of my services. Okay, now the link to my website, as well as the link to my Instagram page and the link to my Amazon <clears throat> page that has my books are all in the comment section below, along with my merch. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So the cards that I come up with for you Sagittarius is the Page of Cups, the Six of Wands, Ace of Cups, the Lovers, the Six of Swords, the Magician. <clears throat> Seven of Cups, the uh, King of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so what I'm seeing here for you Sagittarius, okay? You Sagittarius happen to be... Some of you Sagittarius may think that somebody that you just interacted with is delusional, has problems seeing the bigger picture. Um... Six of Wands, Ace of Cups. So you've decided to move forward. Potentially with, yeah, with someone else. Someone else that offers you something better. Right? This person actually sees the bigger picture. Then you have the Lovers and the Six of Swords. This person uh, came in. The two of you got to know each other a little bit. And the two of you decided that the two of you like each other, okay? Um, <clears throat> this is very good. It is very good because that means that you, Sagittarius, is actually doing something correct. You're doing it correctly, right? Because the last thing you want to do is stay in the friend stage for a very long time. Obviously, the two of you, right, if you're trying to get to know somebody, there is a form of friendship, right, where the two of you just initially meet. Of course, you know, when you're first initially meeting the person, if you don't know them, you're not going to go straight in and try to kiss them. Of course not. That's a very good way to get slapped. That's a very good way to get looked at like you're weird. So <clears throat> what it is that you Aquarius want to do is you Aquarius wanted to actually take the time to, to come on in and actually get to know them, find out a little bit more of who they are and, and what they want and what they know as this person is trying to do that with you and is doing that with you. So you Aquarius is actually you Aquarius are actually doing it correctly. You're doing it right. Okay? A lot of times people spend way too much time thinking about what it is that they should do. Even the people that end up being parasites and the ones faking it like, you know, they're trying to somehow, you know, they're bringing all this value to the table. It's not really true. What it is that they're really doing is they're really deflecting and BSing and wasting time until they can really get it together because there's something within themselves that's broken. And a lot of you Sagittarius, right, getting over these individuals that was wasting time that represented this page of cups. You Sagittarius knew was like, listen, this person ain't working for you. They're really not putting in any kind of effort. They checked out already. So you, so you bouncing. You're like, okay, I'm done. You're getting to know other, uh, other people. The, lover, the lovers and the six of swords, the two of you hit it off. The two of you end up being good together, you know, so far. Now, I'm not even going to lie. The next step for you, Sagittarius, to do is to maintain this type of interactions between the two of you. Because where people mess up, is they they either get stuck in the friendship stage or they get themselves in a situation where they actually the, the two people know that they like each other that may have already been established sometimes it doesn't even get established but the relationship is not growing there's no growth in the relationship the relationship doesn't have legs, so to speak. It's not going anywhere. 
So <clears throat> that's what destroys the relationship. If the relationship does not have growth and, it, and if it cannot go anywhere, right, if it, if it cannot uh, cover any kind of distance, then the relationship ultimately en ends up ending because the relationship beco becomes stagnant. <clears throat> there is no movement. So what you Sagittarius want to do next, if you're planning on holding on to this person that represents this Ace of Cups, you want to be able to create. You want to be able to create a relationship with this person. OK, the lovers represents Gemini. Gemini is the exact opposite sign of Sagittarius. So. Um, how it is that you maintain and, and grow this relationship is the magician and the seven of cups. Understand that. It is your it is partially your responsibility It's really the both of your responsibilities, but it is partially your own responsibility, Sagittarius, to understand that if you don't help grease the wheels and make this relationship worthwhile, then the relationship essentially is going to grow, is going to become stagnant and it's not really going to evolve. and It's not going anywhere. Ultimately, it's not going to be a very long lasting relationship at all. It'll almost be like a booty call, you know, some sort of long drawn out booty call. You don't want that. So um, the Seven of Cups, like I said, if this video is bringing you value, feel free to contact me. I'm available to do personal readings today or check out any one of my services. But the Seven of Cups represents what you want to do is, is that you want to make sure, first and foremost, how you create that relationship you want to be able to make sure if this person actually is someone that you can see yourselves with for the long haul. And how you do that, you want to take some time to look over your options. OK, seven of cups. The strength card represents obviously you shouldn't take too long doing this. OK, and also if the person is if you find out that the person is arrogant, if you find out that the person is is lazy. They don't want to put in too much work, but they want you to do a lot of the work. Obviously, that's a red flag. You should obviously not hang be hanging out with this person. So the King of uh, Cups and the Queen of Wands now here, right? The, the King of Cups represents and make a decision that both your heart and your head can agree upon. Okay. Because although the King of Cups represents a person or a king that is very in touch with their own feelings and emotions, they have learned to, to be very patient and keep themselves calm. If you pay attention, right, this king, this king of uh this uh this king of of um of cups very much so has a a uh a throne that's very much so on the sea. A ship is, is back there. You know what I mean? A fish is back there. So this king <clears throat> is on the sea. And this person's only platform is their throne. And they have to remain calm. They have to remain still. Because if they, if they try to stand up, it may create too much weight. So their throne is their ship. So what this means is, is that learn to not necessarily look at things emotionally based upon right now and how a person is riling you up <clears throat> or doing certain things that may end up looking attractive to you now, but ends up really having you miss the bigger picture because the person that you may have interacted with from before that represents this Ace of Cups may actually have been the one that you should have chosen. So maintain that emotionalism right? Uh, calm the mind. This is another thing too, like I said before, that Sagittarius has to learn to do. In order for you to make better decisions, listen to me very closely. This is, this is something that can really help the Sagittarius save themselves a lot of trouble. Listen closely. And I'm going to make this as plain as possible. If you Sagittarius want to live a better lifestyle, love life, make better decisions, all of that, you live longer, you need to learn to calm your mind 
and become more relaxed, more patient, and focused. Sometimes it's good to multitask, but it's not always good to be on the multitask mode. It has you scrambling all over the place and being confused, but never actually buckling down and fixing anything. So the Queen of Wands now represents this being a situation for you, <coughs> excuse me, this being a situation for you where um, this person, which, let me see, you want to also make sure that this person, like I said, is not arrogant. You want to also make sure that this person even wants to be in a long-term relationship. So ask, find out if this person wants to be in a long-term relationship, if they want to actually have a functional relationship, because you can't be, because it's going to be very difficult to be in a relationship with somebody that obviously chooses not to be in a relationship. So let's clarify the Let's clarify the lovers. You have the Knight of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Hierophant, and you have the Tower. So, to clarify the lovers, the Knight of Swords, the Four of Swords. This person wasn't playing any games with you when you went to this person and the two of you decided to get intimate um, or you shared certain things about yourselves uh, with uh, this person and this person didn't tell anybody. This person didn't use that against you. And like I said, you know, you were Sagittarius, really respected it. You really liked it. And now you're attached to this person in a different way because now this person, now you Sagittarius sees this person as really having value and having some sort of self-respect and respect of others. And as a result of this, really wanting to see where this could potentially go. Now, the Hierophant does in certain cases represent Sagittarius. So you did show up in your reading. So your opposite zodiac sign, which is the lovers, showed up in the reading <clears throat> and the hierophant. Now a lot of times people don't know what this means. Like what does that what does that mean? When your uh tarot, when your major arcana shows up in the reading, it means that you have a very strong or powerful influence on what's going on. Okay. And it means that you are ultimately in control as to how the outcome is. Okay. Um so you want to push to always get the Hierophant or the Temperance or, you know, <clears throat> something like that. So um, for you, Sagittarius, the Hierophant and the Tower now represents, um, but as of right now, uh, you're trying to see, um, some of you may be trying to see or trying to go out with this person before you get intimate. Some of you, Sagittarius, want to be intimate with this person. Right. And and not have this person wait too long. But you're really going to you're really going to put it on them, so to speak, because you like them. And it's something that you you don't do, obviously, for everybody. And you want them to really know that you do like them. And it's more than only friendship where the two of you just can stand next to each other for more than 10 minutes at a time. You know, <laughs> um. So, yeah, so um, let's clarify the magician. <clears throat> so, um, you have the, so to clarify the magician, you have the two of pentacles, the knight of wands, the five of cups, and the judgment. Again, so the two of pentacles is, the two of you have your own part to play, right? If the person is not really ready to be in a long-term relationship, no relationship. If you, excuse me, if you Sagittarius are not ready to be in a real long-term relationship, then it means no relationship. So 
what you want to, what you Sagittarius want to do is the, the magician represents a level of responsibility and power. So this represents how a lot of you Sagittarius want to, you want you and this person to, to get to be on the same page. So like I said before, you need to have a conversation with that person to find out if the two of you, if they like you as much as you like them, right? Can they meet you halfway? What exactly is going on? You want to have that, that candid conversation. The, the Knight of Wands, right? It represents how, um, it represents that, that, uh, how do I say this? It pretty much represents how, um, you know, well, it represents you, okay? It represents you, right? Because of the horse, obviously. It represents you, right? It represents how it is that you, Sagittarius, um, you may think that it's reckless to, to have this type of conversation, but not really. You should really want to go for the Augusto immediately so that you don't end up, like I said, you don't end up wasting your time interacting with these people for a very long period of time. And then you think that this person likes you. And then you go from one trick bag to the next person, right? Who ends up being a trick bag too, right? Or trying to get you caught up in the trick bag. So the five of cups is, is that because again, you've been here before and I'm trying to make sure that you don't end up here again, ever in life, if, if you can help it. So the judgment represents, and if they're not, then it means it's time for you to let them go. And don't even continue to really interact with them on that level where the two of you can interact relationally, right? If they're cool people, obviously you can still stay in touch if that's what you want. But to say that you should continue the relationship by getting to know them romantically would be a mistake because some of them will say that they're not ready to be in a relationship and they're just answering you honestly, right? No harm, no foul. But that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, smash that uh, uh, notification bell, and click the and click all for the notifications so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.